I think we ought to leave the exhaust just like that. It's a leg warmer, I'll tell Man. you. That was awesome. I yeah, thought you got, said it was a little bit of fuel. It got, when it started running, it got a little Dude, it's like all over yeah. the headers and everything. Today's episode is sponsored by DraftKings. What's going on, guys? It's Isaac. Charles. John's behind the camera. Hello. And today we're getting right back on this trophy cart, picking it up, uh, picking up where we left off. I'm doing the front front end work on this. Charles, he's working on the brakes, and uh, I don't know. We got the cooling yeah, system, the cooling system and the fuel system to finish up, and little odds and ends like uh, bracing up the frame a little bit before the maiden voyage and maiden burnout, according to Charles. So. Uh, Let's get busy on this thing, because I can't wait. What I'm doing is I'm adding these tubes on the front, which is going to handle the, the steering. So when this moves forward, this is going to be going sideways for steering. So we've talked a lot about steering. Let me show you what we've come up with. We had to figure out how to make that steering box work with a forward and backwards motion and turn it to a side to side motion. So we got the steering box there. We have this steering linkage here. And the steering pushes and pulls this lever right here, which is gonna transfer that forward and backwards motion to side to side motion here and the steering is going to mount right there so it's going to go left and right so you're basically just bracing the whole system up and we're just kind of using tractor parts like from the farm supply store tractor parts and, and whatever parts we uh, come across that'll Get possibly work yeah so we're, we're working with a lot of like used parts like that steering box is from an old Chevrolet car uh, the spindles are old Mazda Miatas so we're trying to work with what we've got which sometimes works great and then other times it kind of bigger headaches yeah it really is and this steering this steering setup it's been a bigger headache but you know we're gonna work through it and everything's gonna be just fine how are you doing back there buddy uh, doing a single flare on the fuel line so we don't have a slip for good the line. good Let's take a minute to talk about today's sponsor, DraftKings, the leading daily fantasy sports brand in the world with the mission to make sports better and make better sports fans by bringing fans closer to the game. DraftKings is putting you in the center of the action with a shot at millions of dollars in prizes 
every week of the football regular season with your first deposit. Setting up my account was easy. Because I'm a new player, I thought I'd enter a double or nothing contest with a small entry cap and small entry fee. Remember, this is just one contest out of hundreds with millions of dollars of prizes up for grabs every single week. So you play by drafting nine players. One quarterback, I picked Mason Rudolph from the Pittsburgh Steelers because he looked like a good value against his opponents this week. Two running backs, three wide receivers, one tight end, one flex, and one defense. Each player has an assigned salary, and a valid lineup must not exceed the salary cap of $50,000. On game day, rack up fantasy points for touchdowns, yards, field goals, and much, much more. Full rules and scoring can be found at DraftKings.com slash fantasy dash football. Download DraftKings and enter football daily fantasy contests all season long with millions in prizes. New users use promo code cars and cameras during sign up and get a free shot at millions of dollars in prizes with your first deposit. All right, let's get back to the trophy cart. All right, dude. So what I've got going on here is I have a couple of uh, tractor, I don't know what they are, but the piping fits perfect on more tractor stuff. I'm using these pins to transfer this motion down to this motion right here. And I need it to be sturdy, so that's what I'm working on here. I'm bracing things up so we can have a nice tight steering. Ike's been working on the front end, that's looking pretty good. Charles has the front brake lines all plumbed up, that's looking great. And I bent up this fuel line, the hard line here, and Charles helped me out with the flaring on the ends. So all I need to do is kind of plug it into our uh, rubber fuel line, our short pieces, and that'll be one step of the fuel system done. All right, so this hard line just needs to get fastened to the frame and then I can run our return line and our pressure or inlet up to the engine. So we got a T here, which is a little bit, you know, janky, but it'll be fine. T is going to go down under like that and the, uh, the inlet is going to match it. The fuel return line is completely plumbed up. Now I'm just working on uh, the line that goes to the injectors. So I've got it bent and I'm just going to hook it up with the fuel pump here. Then I just need to go around to the front, bend it and line it up with the factory hose. And then fuel system will be done other than wiring the fuel pump. So we're getting there. Okay, so what we've done on the steering, we've put a brace in here, 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 and here. I think I've covered everything uh, to support this whole system. And then I've added a double brace, a double, what would you call this? I doubled it up. I stacked some, uh, is that quarter inch? That's yeah. Not, is it quarter inch? Yeah. So two quarter inch, so that's like half inch metal there. Half inch here, and then just under half inch on this one. So, just beefing everything up. Strong like bull. What he said. <laughs> and Charles is <laughs> tightening up the uh, brake lines, and after you do that, I mean, we should be able to put fluid in the system and test it. I mean, it. but for some reason, we couldn't find a brake line kit for this vehicle. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. So we're having to make a completely custom setup, so should be good to go. Sweet. So you ready to test the steering now? Yeah. All right, that's, hard. that's all the way. That's all the way. way. Yeah. I guess I need, need to adjust. It's really not. It's really not bad. Is it not bad? No. I mean, because it's it's something without power steering, I and all and, and all the should, weight and all the weights on the front tires were not rolling. So. And it should turn easier once it freezes when, when you're rolling. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I mean, because so, I don't. This see, is one one arm right here. I don't see any flexing here. Good. So I think we're good, dude. And we had to do this crazy setup to minimize bumps, dear, because yes. we have like what 14 inches of travel up here something or something. Like that, yeah. It's the end of another long day working on the trophy cart, but we checked off a lot of big ticket items, like the fuel system's done, uh, the steering has totally been braced up. 
almost half of our cooling system is done. We bent one of the tubes. We used inch and a quarter tube, and it's going to act as a kind of support brace for our lower frame rail. So we need to bend the other side and then get some radiator hoses. Uh, got a little bit of wiring left. Got to do some pedals. Front brakes work. Front brakes work. Yeah, so we are like getting really close to hearing this thing run and seeing it go. So, knock on wood, maybe tomorrow? Maybe. We can only hope. We just have a few things to do left on the trophy cart before we can hear it run this morning. We gotta wire up the fuel pump. Charles is just fine tuning our brake lines. Um, I gotta finish bending the other tube for our cooling system. We're getting real close, real close. Oh, and Ike is gonna just kind of go around and weld things up as it needs it. Can you trim a little bit off the end? It looked like you were so close, dude. It looked I'll like maybe a, a trimming an inch off would have done it. Yeah, I'll see if it, uh, I can tell this is even gonna work. Originally, the thermostat uh, went down. It, it's in the radiator on this, and the radiator sits on top of the engine originally. Well, that would have obstructed our view so we moved the radiator to the back and uh, we're taking the thermostat out of there and we're eliminating some sort of a uh, bypass line and uh, we just got to figure out which way the, the circulation is on this engine for coolant and uh, whatever side it blows out that's where the thermostat goes. So Charles is leaving in a few minutes. So we're rushing to try to hear this thing fire up for him before he leaves. Uh, we're far from done, far from done. But it'd be nice to hear the fuel pump come on and the engine fire up to life. We should check the oil. That's a great idea. <laughs> that looks full to me. Also milky. Hopefully it's not in gear. So you're pressing on it? Yeah, I'm pressing on it. I got it. Now I do realize that the uh, fuel lines are empty. Yeah, and it's going to take a little bit to purge it, all the air out. Do we need to let the air out manually? I don't know. You ready? Yeah. Contact. All right. I don't hear injector pulse. Mm. So I need... Test light? Test light, but it's got to be a computer-friendly test light. We don't have one, do we? Probably not. I can always try tapping on it. Um, injectors like to gum up. Mm-hmm. And these have been sitting for a yeah. little bit. John, hit the key. Contact. Yeah. All right, hold it. So you were pressing on that thing? Mm -hmm. One more time. Ready? Yeah. All right. Did you uh, let go of it? No. Okay. I just can't, I, I can't. Oh wow, we got a big, big puddle of fuel. That's okay. Like fire hazard? Mm, well, if there's any fire up here, yeah. But. All right. All right, I gotta watch go it. Go for it. 
just like that it's a leg warmer i'll tell Man. you that was awesome i yeah, thought you said it was a little bit of fuel well, yeah, it got, when it started running it got a dude it's like all over yeah. the headers and everything yes <laughs> it, got, it got bad Oh my nice. goodness. John was sitting in a time bomb. Yeah, no kidding, man. Charles, what do we do to upset you, man? Uh, I, I don't know. Headers, gasoline, don't mix. Well, I didn't know, man. All right. Just well, it, it fired I, up. I was, well, the, 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 the noise of the exhaust, I was trying to say, it's going to drip on the exhaust and you're shaking your head like this. What? But you didn't let me know that it was that big. It's a communication error. Oh, you can't. All right. Miss. Well, um,. It runs. It runs. Awesome. So we just have to do a little uh, stuff here and there. Yep. And uh, man, we'll be able to put this thing in gear. Yeah, exactly. Drive it around. Yeah, the big things left are kind of pedals, shifter. We got to finish the rear brakes. Yeah, the rear brakes. Oh, got to get some radiator hoses so we can plumb up our uh, cooling system, thermostat. That's pretty much, yeah, for a good, for a good test lap. Yeah. yeah. Oh, another thing we have to do is we have to come up with something kind of custom for this intake. This this intake has a what an airflow meter in it, right? Airflow the, meter. This yeah. This has to be used. Yeah. The airflow has to go through here and open a little flat door, and you can kind of hear it. That's what tells the computer how much fuel to give to the injectors. Yeah, and we can't set it up like it was on the bike because our steering linkage is in the way. So it's just going to require a little bit of finessing and we're going to be ready for a ride. Sounds good. Yeah. What'd you think, Charles? That was awesome. Sounded Thanks, like guys. a four cylinder, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It sounded like a four cylinder. Did it sound like angry 90 horsepower? Yeah. I know 90 horsepower ain't that much, <laughs> but exactly. you know. It's, it sounds like the bomber class out at the, out at the speedway. Oh yeah? Sweet. Well, yeah. maybe maybe they'll let us put it on the speedway. That would be awesome. <laughs> yes, the parents. Yeah. Yeah. I well, talked to them. We got some big ticket items checked off this time, like fuel system, brakes, kinda, cooling system, kinda, steering is completely done. Yeah. Ish, right? Just needs to yeah. be tested. Just need no, it needs to be tested, and then then we'll know. Cool. Yeah, tested like a few jumps, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Hundred mile per hour absolutely. run. So we're not far from seeing this thing go. 100 horsepower, it's heavy. I'd say eight, 900, thousand pounds maybe with a rider. I'll say a thousand pounds. Yeah. So it'd be like having a 220 horsepower Miata, which is pretty fast. So not bad. It's all right with me. Yeah. So, all right. Well, Charles, we appreciate you coming today, buddy. All right. Well, Giving us a hand this, this weekend. Absolutely. Well, I appreciate the invite. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's episode and subscribe to Cars and Cameras to see the maiden voyage of our 1,000cc trophy cart. We've been saying it for a long time. We finally got it running today. We are not far from seeing it go. So be sure to check out our website, cars-cameras.com, and pick up one of these fine t-shirts or hats uh, to help support our future projects and to rep one of your favorite go-kart YouTube channels. And uh, check Isaac out at Isaac It'll Be Fine on YouTube and Instagram. And Cars and Cameras on Instagram at John underscore Cars and Cameras. And Facebook at Cars and Cameras. All right. Thanks for watching again, guys. We'll catch you next time. Oh, my. It's got fuel in it. <laughs> Good gracious. Petrol in the eye, not good. No. But where's your safety glasses? Safety third.